Hi all, Lee here. So what is this big thing in front of me? A uh, big wooden box with a slider on it. This is my fretboard radius jig. So let me get it off of here, put it on the floor and I'll give you a closer look on how I made this. So hopefully you can see this all right here. Um, so yes, this is my fretboard radius jig. Um, I've copied the designs from hundreds of people on YouTube. Uh, so there's loads of different designs out there, but I just thought I'd show you mine. I'll, I'll put the tape measure up against it just so you can get an idea of sizes and dimensions. Um, so as you can see, a couple of basic things. It is just two parallel bits of plywood um, with some holes in it, the different radius uh, in, in each end uh, that you can put the pins in to change the radius. So quite simply, as you can see, all you would need to do is here, I've put the different uh, radius distances. So I've got 9.5, 10, 12, and 14. Uh, and I've put those in each side. So the idea is, is all that happens is when you have a pin in each side, which I have, uh, you then just rock this and it rocks at the radius. It is as simple as that. Nothing complicated about it. Uh, building this, the main thing you need to consider is to make sure this is perfectly centered. Um, so when it's in the middle, it's nice and horizontal at the top where you put the fretboard on. Uh, and then it, all you do is put your router onto some sort of slide. Make sure the router's centered, as you can see here. And then all you would do is just rock this back and forth as the router's running. Move it a little bit, rock it, move it rocket and that is as simple as that so I didn't want to take you through building this because it is quite a simple design and there's plenty of other people who have done that but what I will do is I'll give you an idea of some of the sizes just so uh, you've got uh, if you wanted to try and copy it you can so here you're looking at the internal measurement between the two plywood verticals is about 24.75 inches, which is around 630 millimeters. The height is roughly 24 inches, which is about 610 millimeters. And in between is, what's that? Seven and a quarter inches, which is about 185 millimeters. So hopefully that'll give you an idea of the box uh, size. It is just cheap plywood. This didn't cost much from the hardware store with just some cheap pine that I've uh, put on the sides just to hold it together. And it feels pretty sturdy. I mean, it's strong enough. Uh, I've double screwed it in, as you can see here. But what makes this interesting, and the reason I wanted this, is it makes it very easy to make compound radius. So I know there's lots of discussion on whether it's actually required or not. Uh, quite often it isn't, uh, to be honest with you, the, the amounts of distance we're talking to the string height uh, at the 24th or 22nd fret is quite small. Um, so it's not essential you have a compound, but some people do like them. And, and I've got to say, I prefer a slightly flatter fretboard up at the high end. So. Uh, what this allows you to do, and I think I've already got it set up here. So as you can see, I've got a pin in there. So that's 10 inch radius that swings at. But on the other side, I've got a pin in the lower one, which is 12 inch radius. So now I actually have a 10 to 12 inch compound radius fretboard machine. So as you can see here, as this rocks back and forth now, one end will rock at 10 inch radius, the other end will rock at 12 inch radius. So as you move the router along, it will do that automatically. It will slowly get flatter and flatter as it comes to the 12 inch end. So of course you can increase that. You can do a 10 to 14 if you like. I probably wouldn't go too far. Uh, or you can just put the pins in one set radius, you know, nine and a half or 10 inches or 12 inches if you prefer, and just do it completely level, the same radius across. The important thing I probably need to mention uh, are the measurements. 
So when you're measuring your radius, if you're measuring your radius from the top of here, well, that will be slightly different from measuring it from the top of the plywood. So nine and a half inches or 10 inches where this one is at the moment, well, that's not actually 10 inches. That is about uh, roughly, um, I think it's about 10 and a quarter inches. But that is primarily because the fretboard itself has some thickness. So I've tried to be a little more accurate. It really doesn't matter. Because um, I mean, if you, ev if you did the 10 inch radius to the, the top of this piece here, and then the fretboard is like a quarter of an inch thick, for example, then it's not quite a 10 inch radius. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter. The difference between 10 inch, nine and a half, 10 inch, 12 inch radius is quite small in reality when it's cut down to fretboard size. Um, but you know, if you wanna be completely accurate, when I measured the holes on the side from the top of this, I added, uh, well, it was actually about five millimeters, obviously, because I'm in the UK, I use millimeters now more uh, metric more than I do imperial. Uh, so I just added an extra five millimeters onto that, just so the radius is actually at the top of the fretboard, not based on this. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's all for this one. Uh, I have also made a neck carve jig as well, which I will show you in another video. So I'll link to that video, um, but hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next one.